Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be my first Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. I did a very dramatic cut crease eye look. Before I get on with the video I did just want to say I am now up to 22 subscribers. And I know it's not much, it's very little, but honestly I didn't think I'd get up to 20. So thank you to everyone that has subscribed to me, I hope you are enjoying all the videos. And I do appreciate your support 100%. Alright everyone, if you would like to see how to get this makeup look, then please keep on watching. Okay, let's get on with this Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. I'm very excited for today's video because I'm going to be using some new products I recently bought. Okay, so let's get started. To start off, I'm going to be priming my eyelids with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm just going to set that eye primer with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. From the Tartis Pro Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Palette, I'm going to be taking this colour here called Chic, and I'm going to be using that as my transition colour. Now I'm going to be taking the colour called Mod, and I'm just taking a smaller brush. On that same brush, I'm going to be taking this colour here called Vamp. And just doing the exact same thing. Now I'm just going to be taking a smaller brush. And just carefully, I'm going to be cutting the crease. Now, let's go to create a little flick. And there we go. I will have to deepen up that shadow a bit more, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Alright, I'm just going to do the other eye off camera. Next, I'm going to be taking my Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow in Whimsical. And just placing that on my lid. I'm just going to be going back into that vamp shade, just fixing up that crease again. Now I'm going to be doing Wings Eyeliner with my Maybelline Eye Studio Black is Black Gel Liner. First I'm just going to be putting some tape along my eyes so I don't mess up. I am going to do the other eye off camera. Okay, so I made them as even as I possibly could. Off camera, I did spray my face with some Smashbox Primer Water. For primer, I'm going to be using the Stilla One Step Correct Primer. Just on my fingers. Now I'm going to colour correct my dark circles and the acne on my face with the Stilla Correct and Perfect Palette. Before I put foundation on, I am going to cream contour. I recently bought the Australis Cool Toned Cream Contour Kit. I'm going to be using this colour. Savannah. 
I think that cream contour kit worked really well. Now for foundation, I've been waiting to try this one. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I got the shade Porcelain. Now they say a little goes a long way with this foundation, so only a small amount is needed. Lightly dot on each cheek, forehead and chin, and then buff out with a buffing brush. So... I think I might need more, I like the full coverage. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Looks pretty good. I quite like it. Now for concealer, I'm using a new one. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I got the shade Very Fair. I'm just going to use this to conceal the dark circles and the acne on my face. Ooh. They even made a concealer smell. Good job, Too Faced. I'm just using my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge to blend out that concealer. I'm just going to mix some MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost with my concealer. I'm just using my Maybelline Fit Me Powder to set underneath my eyes and everywhere else on my face. For blush, I'm just going to take the Physicians Formula Natural Pearl Blush. Lately, I haven't been into blush that much, but this blush here just gives you a little bit of a pink flush, not a lot. Sometimes you can hardly see it. So I just add that just for a little bit of blush. For powdered contour, I'm going to be going into the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. I'm just going to be taking the shade Medium Cocoa. I'm just taking that same contour powder on a smaller brush, contour my nose, and I'll be putting some underneath my bottom lip as well. Now I'm going to be taking light cocoa, putting that on my nose. My eyes and my cupid's bow. Off camera, I did fill in my eyebrows with the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Ultimate Brow Palette. Then I used the Benefit Gimme Brow in Medium Deep. For my lower lash line, I'm going to be taking this color here called Profesh. Just on a pencil brush, I'm buffing that really close to my lower lashes. What I learned in my makeup course: if you put eyeshadow on your lower lash line too low. It will make you look really tired. So the trick is, is to keep the shadow really, really close to your eyelash. And then if you think you have gone too low, just take your face powder and just run it underneath. And it will clean it right up. Now for highlight, I'm going to be taking my Jeffree Star Cosmetic Skin Frost in Ice Cold. Back in that Tarte palette, I'm going to be taking the colour Classic, highlight my inner corners, and my brow bone. Now for my eyelashes, I won't be using my Smashbox Lash Primer, because I bought a new mascara. This is the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara, and I want to see how it looks on its own.
Okay, so the mascara looks pretty fantastic on its own. I'm just going to line my waterline with my Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in Stingray, which is a black. I'm going to line my lips with my Colourpop Lip Pencil in Brink. I think we might try Angel. Now I'm just going to take a lip brush, take a bit of Myrrh. I'm just going to put a little bit of Colourpop's Ultra Satin Lip in Magic Wand. Now I'm just going to set my makeup with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And this is the finished look. I hope you liked today's first Valentine's Day makeup look. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did like it, then please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more videos from me, then please subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.